from popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Jakobsen's Barley Wine. It's a 2011 limited edition. Jakobsen is a, uh, a brand owned by Carlsberg. 9.5% barley wine, beautifully presented ball. Um, Jakobsen Brewery is um, located at the um, Carlsberg Visitor Centre in Copenhagen. It's the site of the original Carlsberg Brewery. The name Jakobsen is the, um, the surname of the, um, the founder of Carlsberg. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of at the Visitor Centre. It's like a very much a high-end kind of product. It's kind of presented as, as you can see, it's a beautiful looking bottle of beer. And it was a very much a direct response from Carlsberg to essentially cash in a bit on the popularity of um, of the kind of growing microbrew scene, especially uh, I guess in, in the US, in which has then been kind of um, taken up in Denmark by even like leading the charge over there. So you've got Mikla and uh, Evil Twin and Fano Bruegels and all those. It's a massive growing scene in the in, in Denmark is craft beer. So Carlsberg being the biggest kind of uh, native brewery um, wanted the opportunity to um, play around with interesting styles and I think they've got a guy in charge there can't remember his name but the, um, there's a big piece on their website about him and essentially why shouldn't a big brewery have the opportunity to uh, investigate kind of a, um, more unique styles as opposed to just churning out shed loads of kind of lager so this is, as I said, it's part of their kind of like visitor experience. It's only one place you can get these bottles, as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, is from the either drink it at the at the bar at the visitor centre or buy them from their shop. So 9.5% ABV. Big thanks to Simon from the Real Ale Guide for bringing this over to um, the Beer Blogs conference last year when he stayed over at my house. This is one of the bottles he brought me. So thanks, Simon. He loved this. So I'm not. I, I, I have no prejudice against the idea of Carlsberg. I'm not going to be expecting it to taste like Carlsberg or anything like that. So yes, 9.5. I'm not going to pour much of this. I'm going to take it up to a friend's house and share the rest with him. So beer in the glass. A very gl wonderful clarity to that. Kind of like a dark amber. Yeah, dark. Yeah, really nice dark amber copper, kind of bronze. Colour. Not much of a head to speak of, of agitation. Yeah, a, a bit of a fine film of quite soapy looking off white head. So let's check out the aroma. I can smell it from here to be honest. Oh, interesting. It does have a kind of a big mineral edge. Definitely in that um, British style of valley wine. Big uh, red apples, there's a lot of toffee. A lot of character, a um, bit of varnish. Definitely characteristic that you'd expect from beers like um, Shepherd Names um, 1698 or whatever it's called. Yeah, earthy, the earthy kind of garam masala to an extent. Card no, cardamom, I'd say. Wet leaves. Slight kind of pipe tobacco. I think they've got a marmite. And there's a nice sugary kind of creme brulee, kind of top of a creme brulee in there. So it's a good smelling barley wine. It's definitely that traditional side. It's not hopped up like the, the American style of barley wine. So let's dive into what it's all about. Cheers. Cheers, Simon. Mmm. That's really quite nice. Starts off relatively boozy. Caramel. Masala wine. Big sugary note there. Once again, um, bonfire toffee. Molasses. Malt loaf. Like a fruit bread. hint of um, really bitter grapefruit, not grapefruit, bitter marmalade. A 
bit of an alcohol phen uh, phenol going on there. These like in these kind of like uh, this, this really sweet sugary. Once again, the top of the creme brulee is in and out. Wonderful clarity. Licorice. Definitely licorice. Ending with a slight kind of uh, revisiting to that uh, kind of sweet caramel once again. Slightly sticky on the lips. Very nice actually. Yeah, very nice stuff. Really sweet. But an in interesting in itself because it's not purely a, um, a traditional barley wine. It's a bit sweeter. It's got a little that yeah that kind of vanilla sweetness, sugary sweetness really comes through. It's really quite nice that. So I'm going to share this with a friend for the rest of the afternoon. So that's a bottle of Jacobson's barley wine, 2011, from the Jacobson Hoos Hoosbrigger Gate, Jacobson at the Carlsberg Visitor Centre in Copenhagen. Who'd have thought it, eh? Lovely stuff. So yeah, cheers Simon for this bottle of beer. Finally got around to drinking it about a year later, but I'm sure it's just a pre uh, developed with time. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. See you next time. Cheers.